Sarah, a captivating 23-year-old woman, had recently embarked on a fresh chapter of her life in the bustling city of Sydney, Australia, encouraged by the supportive influence of her family, she embraced the opportunity for a new beginning in a locale vastly different from her previous abode, everything about Sydney felt novel to her, the diverse array of people, the breathtaking natural landscapes, and the lively streets teeming with activity with the modest financial support from her parents. Sarah settled into an apartment complex nestled near a tranquil forest, finding solace in its resemblance to the familiar comforts of her hometown, one day, her newfound friend Riley confided in her about a snake he had discovered lurking in his closet, uncertain of how to handle the situation, fortunately for Riley, Sarah proved to be the perfect ally for the task at hand eagerly accepting the challenge. Sarah offered her assistance in removing the snake from Riley's abode, despite Riley's cautious warning about the potential venomous nature of the serpent, Sarah exuded confidence, assuring him of her prior experience in handling snakes, accompanied by Riley, she swiftly and skillfully apprehended the elusive reptile, leaving him astonished by her calm demeanor in the face of such a wild creature, with the snake securely in her grasp, Sarah proceeded to release it into the embrace of the forest, a gesture of respect for the natural world that resonated deeply with her, grateful. For her aid, Riley generously compensated her for her services, marking her first earnings since relocating to Sydney, eager to share her triumph with her family, Sarah reached out to her parents, who expressed immense pride in her newfound independence and resilience reflecting on her journey, Sarah's father reminded her of the significant stride she had made since her days in Kangaroo Valley, where she had once resided with her husband, in her father's footsteps as the local snake catcher. Sarah had honed her skills from a young age, accompanying him on daring escapades to remove unwanted serpentine visitors from the homes and businesses of their neighbors as the only female snake catcher in the area, Sarah garnered widespread acclaim for her expertise and fearlessness, becoming a well-known figure revered for her remarkable talents. Her reputation reached its zenith when she was summoned to a local hotel to confront a menacing black snake lurking near the tennis courts, armed. With nothing more than a trusty brown bag and snake tongs, Sarah swiftly neutralized the threat, earning the admiration and applause of the impressed onlookers. Among the fascinated crowd stood Ollie, a strikingly handsome gentleman whose curiosity was piqued by the captivating snake catcher. Intrigued by Sarah's beauty and prowess, Ollie seized the opportunity to strike up a conversation and extend an invitation for a date. Despite their disparate backgrounds, Ollie hailing from a prominent end, Affluent family while Sarah remained grounded in her rural upbringing, their connection blossomed into a romance fueled by mutual admiration and respect, though Ollie struggled to fully comprehend Sarah's affinity for snake catching, he endeavored to embrace her quirks and support her passions, showering her with lavish gifts and luxurious experiences, despite the whirlwind of change that swept through her life. Sarah remained steadfast in her authenticity, finding solace and fulfillment in the Simple joys and pursuits that had shaped her identity, together, Sarah and Ollie embarked on a journey of discovery, navigating the complexities of their relationship with grace and understanding, as Sarah continued to pursue her love for snake catching, Ollie stood by her side as her unwavering ally, cherishing the unique spirit that had captured his heart, in each other's company, they found solace, strength, and the promise of a future filled with endless possibilities Sarah's journey took a tumultuous turn after her marriage to Ollie, a man who initially seemed like the answer to her family's prayers for security and stability, yet, as time passed, Ollie's promises crumbled under the weight of his controlling and abusive nature. Despite her love for him, Sarah found herself trapped in a suffocating existence, torn between her devotion to her husband and her unwavering passion for snake catching. Ollie's disdain for her unconventional profession only intensified over time, fueled by his Obsession with societal status and image, the tension between them reached a boiling point when Ali's resentment toward Sarah's pet snake, a constant reminder of her independence and identity, grew into outright hostility, his attempts to coerce her into abandoning her beloved companion were met with staunch resistance from Sarah, unwilling to sacrifice the one aspect of her life that brought her solace and purpose. As the cracks in their relationship deepened, Ali's true colors emerged with frightening clarity, he became increasingly volatile, 
prone to fits of rage and manipulation that left Sarah feeling isolated and afraid for her safety, despite her efforts to placate him and salvage their marriage, Ali's cruelty only escalated, culminating in a harrowing night of violence that shattered whatever semblance of trust remained between them in the aftermath of Ali's savage attack. Sarah found herself teetering on the brink of despair, grappling with the horrifying realization that the man she loved was capable of such brutality, with her resolve shaken but unbroken, she made the courageous decision to escape his clutches and reclaim her autonomy, even if it meant leaving behind everything she had ever known, fleeing to Sydney, Sarah sought refuge in the embrace of her newfound independence, immersing herself in the vibrant tapestry of the city's culture and community. Despite the lingering trauma of her past, she refused to let fear dictate her future, channeling her. Resilience into meaningful endeavors such as volunteering at an animal rescue center, where her innate compassion and expertise proved invaluable, however, tragedy struck when Sarah's life was cut short under mysterious circumstances, sending shockwaves through the hearts of her loved ones, despite initial speculation surrounding her pet snake, whose unwavering loyalty and protective instincts had never faltered. The truth behind Sarah's untimely demise remained elusive in the wake of her. Passing, Sarah's family and friends grappled with profound grief and unanswered questions, their collective mourning overshadowed by the specter of suspicion cast upon Ali, whose presence at the funeral served as a haunting reminder of the darkness that had consumed their beloved Sarah, yet, amidst the somber procession, a miraculous turn of events unfolded, shattering the illusion of Sarah's demise and revealing the sinister truth lurking beneath the surface, in a stunning twist of fate, Sarah emerged from the brink of death, her resilience and tenacity defying the odds and igniting a beacon of hope amidst the shadows of despair as the truth came to light, Ali's facade crumbled, exposing the depths of his depravity and the extent of his malevolence, justice was served, and Sarah's resilience emerged as a testament to the indomitable spirit that had guided her through the darkest of times. In the end, Sarah's story stood as a testament to the power of courage, compassion, and unwavering determination in the face of adversity, her legacy would endure as a beacon of hope for those who dared to defy the forces of darkness and reclaim their rightful place in the light, take a break and follow me into the next story. In the quiet embrace of the local church, grief hung thick in the air like a heavy fog, shrouding the community in sorrow, all eyes were fixed on the somber scene unfolding at the altar, where a beautiful coffin adorned with flowers cradled the memory of Leah. The beloved daughter of Adam and Esther with hearts heavy and eyes blurred by tears, Adam and Esther sat in the front pew, their souls weighed down by the unbearable pain of loss, Esther's anguished sobs echoed through the hallowed halls as she sought solace in Adam's comforting embrace, his own grief etched deeply upon his face, Leah, their precious ten-year-old girl, had been taken from them too soon, leaving behind a chasm of emptiness in their lives, Adam's mind raced with memories of missed moments, regrets gnawing at his conscience like relentless shadows, he couldn't shake. The feeling of guilt for allowing work to consume him, for letting precious time slip through his fingers like grains of sand as the preacher's words washed over the congregation, urging them to find strength in the face of unbearable loss, Adam's thoughts drifted to the countless times he had chosen duty over family, the gifts left unpurchased, the moments left unshared, each regret was a dagger to his heart. A painful reminder of all that could never be undone but amidst the sea of sorrow, a moment of surreal clarity pierced through the darkness, as the time came to bid their final farewell to Leah, a sudden commotion stirred within the church as a lone raven descended from the rafters, its ebony wings cutting through the air like a haunting melody, gasps of surprise rippled through the crowd as the mysterious bird alighted upon Leah's coffin, its presence both eerie and inexplicably comforting, for Adam and Esther, however, there was no mistaking the significance of this unexpected, Visitor, it was Silhouette, Leah's beloved pet raven, a gift from Adam after one of his many business trips abroad, in the quiet moments of Leah's childhood, when Adam's absence weighed heavily upon them all, Silhouette had been her steadfast companion, a constant source of solace and companionship as the raven let out a mournful cry, a bittersweet realization washed over Adam, thawing the icy grip of regret that had consumed him, in Silhouette's presence, he saw not only a symbol of Leah's, Enduring spirit but also a reminder of the love that had always bound them together, transcending even the barriers of life and death with newfound clarity, Adam reached for Esther's trembling hand, 
drawing strength from the warmth of her touch, together, they took their first tentative steps towards closure, their hearts heavy yet buoyed by the flicker of hope that lingered in Silhouette's solemn gaze. And as they followed their daughter's coffin out of the church, guided by the steady beat of wings overhead, Adam knew that though Leah may have left this world too soon, her presence would forever be etched upon their souls, a beacon of light in the darkest of nights in the quiet corners of Adam's heart, a persistent ache lingered, a constant reminder of the fractured bond between him and his daughter Leah, he knew that the chasm that had grown between them couldn't be bridged with mere material offerings. No matter how extravagant, so, on the eve of Leah's tenth birthday, a seed of determination took root in Adam's soul, a resolve to mend what had been broken, it was on one of his weary journeys back from a distant land that Adam's eyes fell upon a majestic raven, its sleek black feathers shimmering in the fading light, in that moment, he knew he had found the perfect gift for Leah, a companion to fill the void left by his absence, as he presented the raven to his daughter. He imparted upon her a promise, whispered with earnest sincerity, this bird, Leah, it's me, as long as it's by your side, I am too, Leah's eyes sparkled with delight as she cradled the raven in her arms, a tangible symbol of her father's love and presence, she named the bird Silhouette, a fitting tribute to its striking appearance and the shadow of connection it cast between father and daughter. With Silhouette's arrival, a newfound sense of responsibility blossomed within Leah's heart. She eagerly took on the task of caring for her feathered friend, relishing in the bond they shared, from Feeding to cleaning its cage, Leah tended to silhouette with unwavering devotion, finding solace in its silent companionship, but it was in the moments of freedom, when silhouette took flight beneath the endless expanse of sky, that Leah truly found joy, she would lie beneath the sheltering embrace of a tree in her father's backyard, her voice lifted in song as she watched silhouette soar through the heavens, in those fleeting moments. The weight of her father's absence felt less burdensome. Eclipsed by the simple joy of shared moments with her cherished companion, yet, as the days stretched into weeks, a shadow began to loom over Leah's newfound happiness, unbeknownst to her, each breath became a struggle, a silent battle waged within her fragile lungs, at first, she brushed off the subtle signs, dismissing them as fleeting inconveniences, but as her breath grew shallower and her chest tightened with each passing day, the truth could no longer be ignored, it was Esther, ever. Vigilant in her love for her daughter, who first noticed the telltale signs of Leah's failing health, with a mother's instinct, she ushered Leah to the hospital, determined to uncover the source of her distress, but Leah, stubborn and fiercely independent, couldn't bear the thought of being separated from Silhouette, her steadfast companion in times of joy and sorrow, in a moment of defiance, Leah slipped away into the night. Silhouette perched upon her shoulder as she sought refuge beneath the canopy of a familiar tree, but as she reached out to touch the rough bark, her world spun into darkness, her lungs seizing in a vice-like grip, it was Silhouette's urgent call that pierced the stillness of the night, a desperate plea for help that summoned Esther to her daughter's side. With trembling hands and a heart heavy with fear, Esther dialed for help, her voice a prayer whispered into the night, and as she watched the paramedics rush to Leah's side, her heart swelled with gratitude for the unexpected guardian angel that had watched over her daughter in her darkest hour, for in Silhouette's haunting cry, Esther heard the echo of a father's love, a promise kept in the silent vigil of a faithful companion, in the hushed corridors of the hospital, time seemed to stand still as Esther desperately pumped on her daughter's chest, her pleas mingling with fervent prayers for a miracle, each compression of Leah's chest felt like an eternity, each moment weighed down by the heavy burden of regret that gnawed at Esther's soul, she couldn't shake the bitter realization that she should have acted sooner, should have listened to the subtle whispers of concern that had tugged at her heart the night before as the paramedics rushed to Leah's side, their skilled hands taking over the desperate battle to save her life, Esther's mind raced with a tumult of emotions, guilt gnawed at her conscience, a relentless reminder of her failure to heed the warning signs of her daughters. Deteriorating health, but amidst the chaos of the emergency room, there was a glimmer of hope, a fragile thread that tethered Esther's heart to the possibility of a miracle, yet, despite the best efforts of the medical team, Leah's fragile heartbeat faltered, the echoes of its final beats reverberating through the silent corridors of the hospital, in that devastating moment. Esther's world shattered into a million jagged pieces, her cries of anguish echoing into the void as she grappled with them. Unbearable weight of loss, Adam, 
drawn back from his travels by the chilling news of his daughter's passing, arrived at the hospital with a heart heavy with dread, with trembling hands and tear-filled eyes, he clung to the hope that this was all just a cruel nightmare, a twisted prank orchestrated by fate, but as he stood beside Esther, his soul shattered by the devastating truth. There was no denying the gaping chasm that had been carved into their lives in the days that followed, grief hung. Heavy over the community like a suffocating shroud. Casting a pall of sorrow over all who had known and loved Leah, yet, amidst the numbing ache of loss, there was a lingering sense of disbelief, an unspoken question that haunted the minds of all who had gathered to mourn and then, in a moment that defied all reason, the church was plunged into chaos as silhouette, Leah's beloved raven, launched into a frenzied display of aggression, with each vicious peck at Leah's lifeless form. The congregation watched in horrified silence, unable to comprehend the surreal scene unfolding before their eyes in a surge of primal rage, Adam lashed out at the bird, driven by a grief-fueled fury that threatened to consume him whole, but silhouette, elusive and untouchable, evaded his grasp, soaring beyond the reach of mortal hands, and as the church reverberated with the echoes of Adam's desperate cries, a palpable sense of unease settled over the congregation, casting a shadow of doubt over their collective understanding of reality but then, as if guided by some unseen force, Leah's still form stirred, her chest rising with a sudden intake of breath, in a miraculous display of defiance, she pushed herself upright, her eyes fluttering open to meet the stunned gazes of those who had gathered to mourn her passing, and in that moment, amidst the chaos and confusion, hope flickered like a solitary flame, illuminating the darkness with the promise of redemption and renewal. In the quiet aftermath of Leah's miraculous awakening, a ripple of astonishment and relief swept through the stunned congregation, their eyes fixed upon the young girl with a mixture of disbelief and wonder, as Leah's gaze flickered with confusion, her voice pierced the heavy silence with a plaintive cry for her father, a beacon of familiarity in the sea of uncertainty Adam and Esther, propelled by a surge of adrenaline and hope, rushed to their daughter's side, their hearts pounding with a mixture of disbelief and overwhelming gratitude, with trembling hands and tear-streaked faces, they gently lifted Leah from the confines of the coffin, cradling her fragile form in their arms with a reverence reserved for the miraculous, yet, even as they carried Leah to the safety of their car and sped towards the hospital, a sense of trepidation gnawed at the edges of their consciousness, for Leah's breathing, though restored to a fragile semblance of normalcy, still bore the weight of an unseen burden, a silent struggle that threatened to unravel the fragile threads of hope that bound them together as they arrived at the hospital once more, their words echoed with a newfound urgency, their pleas for help tinged with a sense of desperation born of past regrets, this time, there would be no delay, no hesitation in seeking answers to the mysteries that had haunted Leah's fragile existence and as the doctors raced against time to uncover the truth behind Leah's harrowing ordeal, the chilling reality of her condition sent shivers coursing down Adam and Esther's spines, insects, eggs lodged deep within Leah's throat, had robbed her of breath, their insidious presence multiplying unchecked until they threatened to snuff out the flame of her life, it was then, in the stark light of revelation, that Adam and Esther understood the true significance of Silhouette's relentless efforts, the raven, their daughter's faithful companion, had sensed the unseen danger lurking within Leah's fragile frame, a danger that had eluded even the keenest eyes of Medical scrutiny, in a whirlwind of surgical precision, the doctors worked tirelessly to extract the eggs from Leah's body, their hands guided by a determination born of the knowledge that every moment counted, and as the hours stretched into eternity, Adam and Esther clung to each other with a fierce resolve, their prayers whispered into the void with unwavering faith, finally. As the last of the eggs were removed and Leah's breathing steadied, a collective sigh of relief swept through the Hospital corridors, a testament to the indomitable spirit of a young girl who had defied the odds in the face of unimaginable adversity in the days that followed, as Leah emerged from the shadow of her ordeal, a sense of gratitude permeated every corner of their lives, silhouette, once a mere pet, now stood as a symbol of hope and redemption, a guardian angel watching over their family with unwavering devotion, and as Adam made the decision to prioritize family over fleeting obligations. Reducing his travels to savor the precious moments with his loved ones, a new chapter unfolded, brimming with the promise of a future filled with love, laughter, and the enduring bond of family Leah, 
her spirit buoyed by the outpouring of love and support that surrounded her, vowed to cherish each moment, to live each day with a renewed sense of purpose and gratitude, and as she looked to the horizon with eyes alight with wonder, she knew that her journey was just beginning, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring power of love. Thank you for joining us on this journey, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up so you won't miss any of our next videos, we'll be back with more uplifting and inspiring stories.